In this video, I'm going to show you an example of a uh, cheap field dressing that's currently on the market. These have been on the market for a few years. I uh, have not been able to get a hold of any till recently here. Now, these are Czech Army bandage sets or Czech Army field dressings. I've tried finding uh, videos and information online on how to use them. I have not been able to. So I figured I should make a video on them, show them to you, and tell you where to get them from. Now, when you get them, they'll typically come inside this uh, plastic baggie, which is put on by the seller. And then inside, you have the dressing, which is inside a waterproof bag. Something I noticed on the dressings, there's two different styles in this. This one has writing in check explaining how to use it. And then I have one that showed up that had diagrams. Now from the dates that are on them, if I'm reading them right, it looks like these were produced in the mid 80s. They're for sale for less than $3 a piece at keepshooting.com. Now, to use them, you get your dressing, you'd rip open the pouch, it'll just zip right across. The inside of the pouch, if you look at it, is uh, rubberized or coated. The outside is kind of a uh, canvas type material. Inside the pouch, you have your dressing. And then there's also a safety pin inside a paper wrapper. Now the dressing comes with two pads. One that is fixed on the end of the gauze and one that's floating on the gauze. You can move it back and forth to where you need it or remove it all together. On the movable one, it has the same kind of uh, paper covering on it that covers the gauze on the front but it's got a flap on it it looks like you can peel it off and put it where you need it if you want to uh, turn this into two separate dressings which is possible you would take this off of here set it to the side make sure your sterile side is facing up so it does not get dirty use the gauze that you need for wrapping the dressing onto the casualty cut it and then use the gauze to place the second dressing on. This dressing can also be used, if you think about it, for entry and exit wounds because this moves on the gauze. You can put this one over the entry wound and then move this section of gauze or this pad over the exit wound and then just use the wrap to hold it in place. Now Give you an idea on how to use it we have our simulated casualty here with a leg injury so we're going to come in we'll say it's a uh, bullet wound it is a through and through so first the entry wound hold it in place adjust the other god paths adjust the other gauze pad overneath the exit wound as best you can and then start wrapping your gauze just like with a field dressing This roll of gauze that comes on a dressing is really, really long. So you could use just the gauze you need for this casualty and then cut off the excess and then use it for something else like uh, for slings. Now for 
tying it off, my best bet is just wrap it a couple times, tuck it underneath itself, not directly over the wound, and cut it off. You can also use the safety pin. It's fairly good sized. Run it through the gauze, clip it in place. These do seem comparable to U.S. military field dressings that were issued back in the 80s. They're not as thick. They are cheap. They are usable. Uh, do not try to crank these down like you would with a compression dressing. The gauze is not that strong. It will rip. But for just basic usage like a field dressing, this will work real easily and it's extremely economical. Now, if anyone has used these, was trained how to use these, I'd like to hear about it in the comments. As I said earlier, you can find these at keepshooting.com. They're selling them for less than $3 a piece, which is a lot better than trying to find compression dressings where the cheapest you're going to find now is $8 a piece, even for the uh, white civilian ones. Now for all my engineer brothers in the Patriot and Militia movements, always remember, essay ons.